Hello guys, this is Razor Game Dev, and welcome to your next episode in Let's Make a Platformer in Love 2D. So uh, to get things started, I just want to let you know that um, all the source code for our project will be in the description below. So if you need to download that and check things out, you know, go for it. Um, so yeah, um, what we have so far is a moving player with a moving camera um, with slight deceleration, and it's all nice and dandy. So what we want to add in this episode is player collision with the ground, um, player physics. Um, so this is a lot trickier than it sounds, and it'll take some work, but we'll make it through it. So just to, to get things started, I'm going to be in the tile manager real quick. Um, I made a little mistake right here. This needs to be properties, just like that. Because if you remember, if we go to the maps, go down here, um, the table is actually called properties, not props. Um, so there we go. That's all we need to do. So if um, in the map over here in the tile manager, we see that solid. The solids are in level, um, or in the first layer. So over in the player, we want to make a local reference to the first layer. So if I remember correctly, I have to go like this. Local tiles is equal to, um, how do I do this? OK, so let's make this global. In your game later, try to make things as uh, local as possible, but uh, um, just because this is just a simple game, we're going to make it global. So let's say uh, tile manager tiles uh, 1, I believe. So let's go to TLM and make sure that's right. Oh, no. So yeah, I'm going to be trying to do more things on camera and uh, work with you on camera a little bit more because I'm building a game with you guys. I'm not doing this. Okay. I'm not doing this by myself. All right, there we go. So layer. Yeah, okay. Good. So we got the reference to the solids. So I want to create a couple of variables um, for the player. Actually, we did in the entity. Um, actually, yeah. Okay, so self.onGround. There we go. It's equal to false. Um, self, let's let's see. Let me go to the entity and actually create a speed. All right, we do have speed. There we go. So let's say self.speed. Um, dot set. If I remember correctly, in our vector two, we do have. Oh, we don't have a set. So let's say. Actually, let's just not worry about that. Um, we'll make things easy. Um, I don't know, we'll, we'll add more as we go. So right here, this is where we're going to add our collisions and our checking. So what we need to do if we uh, run the project is we need to um, loop through a three by three square around the player. Um, the tiles in a three by three square. So. So to do that, we're going to make um, a couple variables so that we know where in our um, where to actually look inside the table. So x is going to equal to we're going to have to floor it because if you remember, there's no there's no um, actually let's create some local there's no I'm trying to think decimal um, indexing for tables. Local floor is equal to math dot floor, and what I mean is I can't say tiles. Uh, 4.5, you know, you can't do that. So you have to floor it, and floor it will basically um, remove the decimal point. It'll turn it into an integer. So we're going to say floor self dot position dot x divided by the tile size. So if I remember tile size, if I go into tile manager, I believe it's 16. 16, yeah, you're right. 16, okay. So divide by 16. Okay, so we're going to say local y is equal to floor self dot position dot y divided by 16. Next um, width local w is equal to 2 and local height is equal to 2 because we want to we want the uh, we want to pick a tile 2 away from the uh, original x. So we're going to say um, do some uh, safety checks to make sure that um, x is equal to 1 or greater, because you don't want to end index a negative number. So let's do the same thing with y, and we'll do this um, to, to make sure that it's not outside the bounds of the map um, greater, but we don't really have to worry about that because we can go on pretty much for infinity, um, theoretically. So we're going to loop through all the, um, the solid tiles, so we're going to say i is equal to uh, y, because remember we loop through the y and then the uh, x coordinates. Um, it's going to be less than y plus height, and we're going to do. There we go. So now the x uh, coordinate we're going to say is equal to j is equal to x. Um, x plus or 
yeah, x plus width. What we're going to do is we're going to say local tile. We're going to get a local reference to a tile is equal to tiles i j. We're going to also say right here, we're going to actually create a, oh, let me check. Okay, so at the end right here, we're going to say a continue right here. We're going to say if tile is equal to whoop, is equal to nil, then go to uh, continue end. So what this is going to do is going to check if the tile right here at coordinate um, i j, which if you remember, if I build it, which is like three around this character, if it is a uh, equal to nil, then it's going to go to this break right here and it's going to continue the code after this. This is kind of like um, if, if you ever worked in basic, it's it's a new feature in Lua 5.3, I believe, or 5.2 is actually in it, I believe. Um, if not, we're just going to print, hey, um, this is just temporary to test if we are doing this right. So if we run this, we get the console, right? If we go over here, if we run into a tile, or at least um, I guess it's not working. Let me check. All right, I'm back. I did some thinking. Um, I made a slight mistake right here. So if you look right here, this needs to be less than. There we go. So now if we run this, run it, you'll see that as soon as it collides with those tiles, or as soon as those tiles are within range, it'll print high. So that's all good and dandy. So now what we want to do is we actually want to create some helper functions for um for physics. Let me check. Yeah, we do. So right here we're going to create a new file. Can name it physics. Um, helper. Dot Lua. Okay, so in here we're gonna have a function, and we're gonna make the we make a function called rectangle collision. So in here we're gonna take a ooh, let's think. We're gonna take a rect. Um, name it rectangle one, rect underscore two, just like that. So. Um, what we want to do is we want to check if this rectangle intersects this rectangle. If so, we're going to return um, two values. We're going to return true and the second rectangle. So we're going to do we're going to do a if statement. So if rectangle one dot position dot x is greater than well, let me think plus rectangle one dot size dot x is greater than rectangle two. Dot position dot x then um, and then we want to say and um, rectangle one dot pose dot x is less than um, let me think let me do some is less than uh, rectangle two dot position dot x uh, plus <laughs> sorry I'm visualizing it in my head that's always um, important to do so there we go so we got left and right collision now, right? We, you can check if it's um, when those bounds. Now we do up and down, and up and down is exactly the same as left and right. So we're just going to copy that, paste it right here. We're going to do that. We're going to select all the axes right here. We're going to turn them into Y, just like that. Um, right here, we're going to say then. So if there is a collision, then we're going to return right here. We're just going to return this. So the reason why we return the box is that we can uh, we can do some further calculations on the box. Um, next, we're going to say return right here. We're going to say false, then nil, just like that. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to say if uh, well, that actually let's require the physics helper. So we require tools forward slash physics helper require it right here um, down here we're going to say if rectangle collision or right, actually let's do this local collision and then uh, rect is equal to uh, rectangle collision uh, self uh, do, do, do. I believe self right Self upload, yeah, and then we want to say tile. If call, then 
let's say self.val.y is equal to zero self dot dire dot y is equal to zero so let's try running this let's see what happens there we go oh by the way oh I didn't show this on camera for testing I applied um, a y velocity and I also set the y direction to one that'll make it so the player falls down like that with gravity and I actually want to um, ooh, I actually want to make this a little bit smoother so we want to do this if self dot velocity dot y is equal to or is it let me see let's make a gravity um, variable actually I think we have a gravity variable and uh, no nope, that's game time so let's say self dot gravity is equal to um, I'm gonna say 200 so I'm gonna say self dot vel dot y plus self dot gravity just so there's some smoothing times delta time let me check what this looks like there we go so you see that um, I actually want to make gravity a little bit stronger so let's do like five that 500 and we'll fix the um, we'll fix the smoothness of everything and all the variables we'll adjust it later on when um, when we do some gameplay testing and all that stuff so as you can see he falls down you know you can fall down and you can keep falling um, that's all well and everything but we want to work on you know left and right collisions and all that so what we actually want to do is we want to create a bounding box rectangle so if you notice right here if we run this you see how he falls into the ground if I can uh, let me zoom in the can well I don't think I've set that up right uh, I'll work on that later but um if we look right now we see we fall down and we're actually in the ground a little bit now this is what makes platformer collisions and physics kind of a pain is um, worrying about snapping the player to the top of the tile so one thing I do is I make a bounding box um, let's see yeah so I'm gonna say local box is equal to let's see uh, do I have a rectangle require um, I believe it's in yeah okay objects for forward slash uh, rect so right here we're gonna say rec new um, self dot x self dot dot y self dot actually we want to say pose position right pose oh, yeah dot x self dot size dot y and let me make sure this is how it goes yeah okay good so um so we create a little it's something called box right and we pass box into here instead now everything will work the same if we run uh, except it won't um, up here I'm going to say local rect is equal to require there we go run that bang everything will work the same now the key difference here is we're going to actually apply the velocity so we're going to say plus self dot vel dot y um, yeah so now if we run that it fails let me see what am I trying to do plus self vel dot y times delta time there we go so now you see it it adds to the it adds the velocity to the bottom of the player um, so it does a pre-check basically it checks if um, the player's position plus the velocity is below the ground if not this is going to say velocity is zero which in the end will make it so the um, player will never no longer fall uh, so yeah there we go so we have up and down um, physics right now so you see that um, he still falls down but we can uh, we'll fix that later actually we'll fix that um, right now well should I I'll do some work on this uh, off camera and show you what I've done but this will take a little bit so if you run let's run it again yeah yeah you can see that it still pops through the ground um, to fix this we're gonna say if uh, self dot pose dot y is greater than rect dot position dot y we're going to add height self dot, um, dot size dot y then self dot pose dot y is equal to self dot or we're going to say rect 
rect dot pose dot y minus self dot size dot y. Okay, so what we just did. So um, if you remember, this returns the um, this tile and the collision. So we grab this rectangle right here, right? And we um, we say if the player's position is greater than the rectangle's position, right? Then snap the rectangle back or snap the player to the top of the rectangle. So we run. We can see that boom, it snaps to the top. Just like that. See that? And we can also, yeah, if we run up, it'll automatically, you know, snap us back to the top. So that's cool. Um, and this to actually, yeah, let's add some. Uh, let's add a jump. Let's see what we can do. So if say if key um up. No, let's say space. I think I can just do that, right? Self.val.y is equal to negative self.gravity. Let's try that. Boom. Woo! Actually, I want to make it the key Z. I forgot that how we're doing the setting up the control. So I'm going to say times 0.5 because I don't want it quite that high. Yeah, it's still a little bit crazy. You can see the jitter. That's just recording. It will run smoothly um, for you, I'm sure. So okay, so yeah, he he'll just uh he'll keep floating onto um, forever. So what we want to also do is we want to check if self and this is just temporary dot vel dot y is less than say point I'm gonna say ten and self dot dot vel dot y is greater than negative 10 then let's just do what I want it to do so I can't jump in midair well I okay I, I guess I can right at the arc if I time it perfectly um, but for now I mean it, it does the job okay so if you look right here we, we snap to the top of the tile we don't necessarily want that we um, um we don't have left and right collision but for now we have a basic basic platformer and basic controls um, so yeah sorry for a little bit of fiddling around that went there um, it, 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 I still haven't figured out, like, completely perfected my, um, platformer engine, I guess. But we'll do it in, um, in later episodes. We'll, we'll make this a lot better. So, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Um, be sure to like, subscribe, and all that. I'll have a next episode soon. I, I did not mean to make it <laughs> take this long, but I've, yeah, it, it's, I've had life happen, and it kind of hit pretty hard. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next. Bye.